Hello and welcome to Hank Games Without Hank. My name is John Green. I'm the manager of the Swindentown Swoodley Poopers who today find themselves in the John Stones Paint Trophy Contest. It was clear, but then it started raining. What a surprise. Oh, England. The, uh, by the way, our opponents have a guy named Freckleham um, on their team. The most English name in the history of the world. Today I'm going to be talking about all the pets that I've owned while we play in the John Stones Paint Trophy. This is a um, winner go home um, competition for the lower leagues, uh, but if you if you get to the final, you get to play in Wembley, which is very good for your club financially. So we'd really like to get to the final for the sake of um, the finances of the club. We um, we could use some new players, not because our current players aren't good; they're great. We love them, but um, that's going to be a free kick, and we know how I do with free kicks. All right, it's Yabamba. Yeah, 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 Bamba. All right, here we go. And no. God, I've never scored from a free kick. Um, so uh, we need new players because uh, we are currently suffering from a bit of an, a rash of, of injuries, and um, we don't have any players to replace them because we are really, really poor uh, as professional football teams go, just like the real AFC Wimbledon, um, which is why we support them via sponsorship uh, here at Hank Games. Um, so, yeah, that's the update. And we're also starting Mr. Smith Goes to Washington, um, who is still on the ball. Look at Mr. Smith Goes to Washington. Finally, he gives it up. Um, and um, anyway, um, so all the pets I've owned. My first pet ever um, that I remember having, I guess we had dogs when I was very little, like two or three, one of whom we had to uh, give to a foster home because he was like a dog that um, – like to bite children, which only became an issue once my parents had children. Um, oh, 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 it's P. Sweeney. P. Sweeney under your mama, your mama, your mama. Oh, he overran the ball. He overran the ball. Oh, it could have been. Oh, it was St. Luce. St. Luce is not as much of a finisher as Yabamba, it must be said. Oh, then just disaster. Many people have, have reported in comments that sort of the, uh, the, the win, AFC Wimbledon Wimbley Wombly is sort of like, oh gosh. Our, um, our backup plan when it doesn't work to go to the corner and then work our way in, like when we can't get width, um, our backup plan to sort of pass into the middle is just not working. We don't, have the, we don't have the players for it right now, so we need to get a little more tactically sophisticated, but of course I suck at this game. So my first pet that I remember having was Red Green, um, who was a terrible, terrible dog. I don't know if you guys have ever heard the story of Red Green. He once pooped in my Nintendo, though, which is about as bad a dog as you can have if you love Nintendo as much as I do. Um, and, um, yeah, so we are, um, uh, yeah, so the, that was my first, like, he was, a, he was a miniature dachshund. We got him for Christmas, um, and Hank named him when he was, like, four or five years old, and he thought Red Green would be a good name, because, you know, Christmas, also, uh, colors, and, and also Red Green was a bit red. We had Red Green until he was 16 years old. Uh, he was a good dog um, in the sense that, um, you know, he taught you uh, important lessons about life, like that you have to be patient, and sometimes you have to love things that are not easily lovable. Uh, but I, did, I wouldn't say that it was like an enjoyable dog experience for me. We did also have a snake for a while. Uh, the snake was named Blue Green. He was, he was a blue garter snake. We called him Blue Green. And um, he was a good snake, and he died because, you know, that's what happens to pets. We had a gopher tortoise um, when I lived in Orlando when I was a kid. I can't remember the gopher tortoise's name. Could have been Green Green, but I'm not positive. And um, good gopher tortoise, really high-quality, top-notch, top-level gopher tortoise. Um, and then as I got older, we got fish. I had a fish. Um, I had a number of fish, all of whom... Uh, met untimely fates uh, do you know listen I'm not going to lie and say that I was the, the world's best keeper of pets um, you could do you could do better than having uh, like nine ten year old me take care of you although I did I kept that gopher tortoise alive for a very long time uh, and then we had a bird uh, Hank um, wanted a bird and we got a bird his name was Rico this was in the era that, that you guys probably don't remember when there was this hit song, Rico Suave. I'm not going to attempt to sing it for you, but um, have you, do you know the song, Meredith? It went like, Rico Suave. I am going to attempt to sing it for you. Um, it, it, great song, really. And I think that's honestly why Hank named the bird Rico. Um, I'm not positive, but I think that's why. Don't call a foul there. That was just two men getting together lovingly, expressing their affection for each other uh, on the pitch in a physical way. Okay, good call by the referee. Good no call. 
we're really struggling without John Green and John Green up front. We're starting Jackie Midson, the hero. Um, Jack Midson, of course, is the reason that we're even playing AFC Wimbledon in FIFA. Um, if it weren't for Jack Midson's heroic penalty on the last game of the season last year, AFC Wimbledon would have been relegated out of the Football League, and it would have been impossible to play them in FIFA. So all hail Jackie Midson. Um, there's only one Jackie Midson. Uh, but we might have to substitute him out in the second half. Later, um, later in, in, my, uh, in, in my high school years, um, we got a new dog, uh, Maggie Green. Um, we made the bold choice not to name her after a color, and she responded by being like the best dog ever. She was a golden retriever, and I just I loved Maggie so much. She was so, in the, in the ways that dogs are, like she seemed to have just such a deep understanding of me, and um, she seemed to really like genuinely uh, love me and be able to um, like, just be able to like she she seemed to know when I was down. She seemed to know when I needed some some cuddles, and she was just the best. I love Maggie so much, and uh, then she died because you know that's what happens. I don't know why this went to such a dark place. Um, meanwhile, Rico the bird I I think may still be alive. Oh come on, come on, turn back. You know what? Yes, I like that play. I like that play a lot. And it's a goal! It's a beautiful goal! Mr. Smith goes to Washington! Oh! Oh, what? I mean, that might be the great... You know what? That's a nice bit of play from the AFC Wimbledon Wimbley Womblies. Oh. Mr. Smith. Oh, Matt Smith, Time Lord. He traveled through space and time so that he could enjoy this single moment of glory against Rotherham, or Rotterdam, or Rothersburg. What, what team are we playing? Rother, Rother, Rotherham United. Wow, it's easy. To, it, it, it couldn't have been that hard to unite Rotherham. Anyway, um, so yeah, that was my best. That was my... Maggie was, was our best pet. And now, of course, I have Willie Green. Uh, he's, uh, he's our only pet, isn't he, Sarah? I'm not missing anything. Do, do we have a pet other than Willie Green? Oh, we have children. Yeah, Willie is our, Willie's our dog, and he's a great dog. Um, but... He's not, you know, he's not the best behaved dog, but it's, it's, it, there are no bad dogs, only bad owners, and we're terrible owners, so that's, that's why. Oh, I needed you to get a little bit of a better pass there, my friend. Slightly better pass would have really made a difference if you could have gotten that in hard to Mr. Smith. Goes to Washington. Oh, and he just came in with a hard, hard, beautiful tackle. I like that, but he didn't manage. I like, I like Matt Smith because um, he's dogged in pursuit, which uh, is something I appreciate in a striker. You guys know I like the strikers who come back and get the job done. Oh, God. Panic! Everything worked out better than expected. Um, but before uh, we had Willie Green, we never had any pets in New York. We never had any pets in... Um, oh, we briefly had a fish. Remember that summer we took care of Susan's fish? We, were, we, fish, we fish sat for our friend Susan. Um, Yeah, um, Sarah was such an extraordinarily, like, giving and loving owner of fish, uh, but also we were, this was an ancient goldfish, and we were terrified that it was going to die on our watch. So um, Sarah created two different habitats for the fish. Um, she called them town and country. One was like a sort of little uh, country house that you might have in the other, or, or sort of a larger, a larger house that you might have in the country, and then the other was sort of a pied-à-terre in the city. Um, and that was, uh, and, and like, so over those three months that Sarah was taking care of that fish, I was like, man, um, this, this, she is going to make a good mom someday. And I was right. She is a fantastic mom. Um, although arguably more committed to that fish than she is to our children. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, so, uh, but, 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 and we never had any pets in, in Chicago, did we? You didn't have any pets in Chicago. No. So, um, it's hard to have pets when you're in your early twenties because you're out, you're out just, you, 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 if you're like me, you just partied so hard um, throughout your 20s, just hitting the clubs. But yeah, Sarah makes a really good point, which is that it's hard enough to take care of yourself when you're in your 20s, let alone to take care of a, a, a separate creature. Oh, it needed a better finish. It needed a better finish. It needed a, a, a harder touch there from Jackie Midson. Um, oh, man. Yeah. I've got a song for Jack Midson that I want to sing, um, but he refuses to score. You know who might score today? Because he's in the starting lineup. Yeah, 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 Bamba. Oh, panic. Don't worry. 
Seb Brown's back there. He saved two penalties against Luton Town to put us into the Football League in one of the greatest moments in the history of AFC Wimbledon. All right, here we go. Here we go. Up the line. Oh! That's right. Get it to your friend. And then pass it back. Pass it. Oh, it's a nice move. It's a nice move. Get that, get that cross in. Oh, Mr. Smith wanted to travel to Washington, but he was stymied. Oh, it's like his flight was delayed. Why don't you pass back? No. Yes. There. Over to St. Louis. No, St. Louis. God. I'm not going to say that I'm, I'm struggling to like him, but I'm, I'm struggling a little bit just because I don't. He's, he's not, what we need up the wing is pace with this. Oh, 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 get in, get in, get in, get in. Yeah, 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 bamba. Yeah, 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 bamba. Just scored a goal, just scored a goal. God, I can't sing at all. My, my voice is completely shot from the Project for Awesome. We just finished the 2013 Project for Awesome. <clears throat> I'm going to try to recover for a second. That was a beautiful goal, too. Let's look at it one more time. It's just a nasty, messy, that's a, that's a Wimbly Wombly goal right there. Wimbly Wombly special. Hold on, I got a swell and then I'm going to try. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nope, I don't got it. I just, my voice is too cooked. That's a shame too because there is no song I enjoy singing more. And I know there's nothing that you guys enjoy hearing off key more. But I can hear the supporters singing it. Sarah, can you hear it in the crowd? I hear it. I hear it in the crowd right now. Meredith, do you hear it? You just, it's that whole, there's nothing like 20,000 AFC Wimbledon Wimbly Wombly supporters together singing, yeah, 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 Bamba, just scored a goal, just scored a goal. And it was a great goal, too. A fantastic win by the AFC Wimbledon Wimbly Wombly B team. Seb Brown, um, inexplicably wearing a turtleneck, but he came through. Um, and, uh, oh, you know what? I kind of, I love it when it rains because it's just, these, I don't, I don't want to talk about the boys I manage uh, I don't want to objectify them too much, but when it rains and their shirts cling to their, their, their beautiful, supple, masculine, well-built bodies, it's just a great thing. Just a fantastic thing. They've really been unfair to that guy's haircut. Oh, boy. Mr. Smith. Mr. Smith. You like that haircut seriously, Meredith? Would you date, would you date a guy with that haircut for real? Like, wouldn't you? He doesn't look like Macklemore. Don't criticize Macklemore. Huh? You would date a guy with that haircut? Like that wouldn't be a deal breaker for you? Seriously? Well, but a leg tattoo is different from that, like like rat tail of a haircut. Like you seriously though? I mean, I I, mean, I, I, I want your honest answer. It would not be a deal breaker for you. Wow, Sarah, would that be a deal breaker for you? Yeah. It just. It's funny cool. You would date a dude with that haircut? You're married. She says she wouldn't exclude him based on the haircut, to which I say, I hope that you would exclude him based on the fact that he's not me. Best wishes.